Glass blowing is the topic of the hit Netflix show, Blown Away. But did you know there's a spot right here in Maryland specializing in this type of art? And that's where we find Marty live. He's at McFadden Art Glass in Baltimore. We can't wait to see what's happening, Marty. Well, it's going to be pretty cool. Tim McFadden joins us. They were talking about the Netflix show, Blown Away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, it's been a big inspiration for a lot of people. You know, this goes back centuries. If you want to go ahead and get your... Yeah, this sure. is called a gather. I'm going to kind of hang with you. But this goes back centuries, doesn't it? Yeah, this is about 2,000 years. They've been blowing glass. They've been working with glass even longer than that. But actually getting the glass like I'm doing now, shaping it and blowing it, they've been doing about 2,000 years. And these, there were trade secrets. People lost their lives over... Oh, in Italy, they wouldn't let you out of town if you were a glass blower. They didn't want you spreading any of their uh, secrets. Seriously? Yeah. So we get a little glass. We'll use tools. We'll use, uh, this called a marver. It's a metal table. So we use different tools, different uh, hand tools and tables for shaping and for cooling. So what I'm doing is just kind of setting it up. Then you blow on the end a little bit. I trap some air. And then if you keep your eye on the end. Look at that bubble. See a bubble start to grow in there? Yeah. That's the foundation of like every blown object. Um, starts with what we call a starter bubble. So it's just a little bubble. I gave another little blow. You see it gets a little bigger. So that's how we make things larger. But what happens is it starts to cool. So then we have to heat it up to make it a little bigger. I'm going to hand it off to Grayson. He's going to heat it up so that we can do more shaping. So we stick it back in there uh, for about 30, 45 seconds, and uh, he'll heat it up. Then we can get more stuff on top. I was, uh, I've got a pipe sitting over there as a prop, which I'm not going to be able to quite real. Okay, thank you so much. These are heavy. I was shocked at really how heavy these are, and there are heavier pipes than this. Yeah, so the, these, the pipe size is kind of dependent on what size piece you're making. If we're making something large and heavy, like a sink or like a large sculpture, like a sink, we'll use you make sinks. Yeah, we make literally everything. You ever um, made a toilet? We have. Uh, we have made everything. I haven't made a toilet. Okay, yet, I, I mean, I, this is an obvious question. Yeah, my inquiry mind wanted to know. But yeah, my uh, I'm open to uh, the first person that wants a, a blown toilet. I'll figure it out. Is, um, but this is uh, this is for smaller stuff. That's our lighter pipes. I can get you one of the heavier ones later, and you can really start to feel. Um, you know, just if, if you have a heavy piece, you need a heavy pipe to counterbalance. You know, this is so cool. We were talking about the hit TV show. K2 and I walked in here and both went, wow. Uh, you have tours come through here. There's a big wow factor to what you do. We've got to run in just a second. Real quick answer. Let's say you're at a cocktail party. You and your wife are out. And somebody says, what do you do? Does it always raise eyebrows? Yeah, well, sometimes people have heard about the business and they're like, oh, are you, you know, they know of the, the studio. Some nice people have been in before because we do get a lot of visitors. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely, people are interested. It's, it's, a, it's kind of weird and unique uh, profession. Gotcha. Coming up next half hour, we're going to do more behind the scenes of an amazing artist. You should see some of the pieces in their shop. You saw them in the open. This man is hashtag big talent next to me. Back to you. That's so cool, Marty. We're very curious how old that assistant is. Yes, the he child was very, glass blower. He was very young. <laughs>